All right, guys, so we're on the court with that Blade Pro, okay? Blade Pro Special Blade Pro. All right, 16 by 19, is it an H22? Well, we're gonna see right now. My man, Coach Goo, got my man, Coach Chris. All right, we gonna hit right now. All right, guys, so we're on the court. Just got off the court with the Blade Pro, all right? Man, I, I'm just kind of shocked at how good this feels. Uh, Coach Goo, first thoughts? Uh, honestly, I played with the previous generation with Countervail. Um, but this one, um, the Pro Stock Edition, as you can tell, Pro Stock, has a nice first. I like the paint, it's glossy. Um, I don't like the whatever mad cut of finish that it was. It just looked kind of weird. But like with this glossy finish, impressed. But overall, like playing with it, it does feel great. Honestly, it's probably one of the best blades I've ever tried for a while. Um, this one actually just, it has that flex, but also it just feels so much stable when it goes through the air. When I was hitting forehands and backhands, it's just solid. It goes from the grip all the way throughout the head. It just aligns through. It goes goes through the air so quick. But um, honestly, uh, first impressions. Honestly, I wish I had this in college. Um, but now I switched over to Yonex. Provides me a little better um, spin. But overall, really, really impressed with this racket. I wish Wilson makes rackets like this. Bring it back, please. All right, guys. Coach Chris, what did you think of that racket? I uh, I really liked it. It's a solid racket. Um, the swing weight was a bit lower than the pro step that I've been kind of using a lot, and so I was able to kind of get around the ball um, uh, quicker or swing through the ball a lot quicker. It's just overall stable. Um, I thought like the V7, yeah. I thought that lacked a bit of stability, but with this one, I felt like it did the job the pro is a really good 16 by 19 um i felt like i definitely was getting some power through it too and 10.8 ounce so really it is it just honestly it reminds me of it's very similar to kind of the pro staff um specs um so overall i was i really like this racket so coach what coach chris is referring to is the stability is coming from the extra one millimeter that's here. It's thicker, right? It's actually a little more head heavier mm -hmm. than um, his Pro Staff and the blade that's stock, the V7. So we got stability, we got a little more power, we got a little more head weight. Mm -hmm. So the combination of all three of those makes a Pro Stock level racket, which is this racket that they did not market to you until now so they've only sold this racket or gave these rackets out to pro players like itf chris here so he was able to get these because he was on tour all right so finally <laughs> people are ready to buy this racket from wilson direct unfortunately so if you want this racket you got to buy it from wilson as i keep saying all right, I know it ain't fair and you pay full price. So, yeah, it is what it is. At least I got one in my hand. These guys got to try it. And, uh, you know, we enjoyed it. All right? Mm -hmm. Coach Goo, I want to thank you for joining me. Where can we find you, Goo? You can find me at agu.tennis. I'll also be posting that content there as well. All right. Coach Chris is taking a break from you still. You know where to find me. Thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis.